A very good day everybody and welcome at E36 vlog 56 which hold on parks for the bridge run. So first of all, if one of you guys ever make it uh, to the covers uh, of the car magazine, uh, this is my first uh, magazine. I also got a second one uh, for the second makeover. I got a nice little uh, new feature where they put some rubbers under it. I need some showcases and then we're good to go. Um, it's essential to know um, what parts uh, to use for the 330i a big brake swap. For example, are we going to use uh, the brake lines for the E36 or the brake lines from the E46? Um, number two, uh, which ABS sensors are we going to use? Uh, what brake wear indicators? Uh, what bolts? Um, what axles? What uh, wheel hubs? Um, which uh, brake cylinders? Because uh, there are two brake cylinders. And um, number eight, um, do we have to exchange the ABS computer, yes or no? So I already did some research and I already got some answers. Um, I've got to do some more research and check out some things myself. So I come back on that uh, tomorrow. And it's that quick another day. Um, first of all, uh, I want to do a big uh, shout out to the E36, E46 Owners Club UK. <clears throat> for the E46, um, I used the knowledge of uh, yeah, quite a few experts uh, in the Netherlands. Uh, for the E36, uh, I used uh, yeah, the knowledge of uh, yeah, the owners of the E36s in this particular uh, Facebook page. So once again, a big shout out to you guys. Uh, thanks for uh, all the answers. And if you're not in this Facebook group yet, uh, subscribe yourself for this uh, Facebook uh, page and uh, post your pictures, ask your questions and uh, spread the E36 and E46 love. Uh, okay, bold on parts number one, uh, the brake lines. The brake line from uh, E36 has different part numbers than from the E46. Um, the biggest difference is that the E46 has uh, four brake lines and the E36 has uh, six uh, brake lines. Uh, that is because of uh, the rear trailing arms. They have uh, two extra uh, brake lines. So um, you have to use the E36 uh, brake lines. Uh, I asked uh, the guys on YouTube uh, who had like a real nice clear um, quality brake swap and uh, all those guys used E36 uh, brake lines. Um, the thing is, your front brake line, so uh, this one, um, it must be at least as long as the one uh, for the E46s because when it's too short and you're steering, it can uh, pull everything apart. Um, you don't want that. So um, I have the luxury that I have an E36 and an E46 with three uh, 30i big brakes on it. So I'm going to measure it up, um, but for now, use the E36 uh, brake lines. Uh, one yeah, nice feature on the E36 lines is that um, this is bolt on. Um, normally you have to hold it and you have to twist your uh, brake claw. Uh, in this case you can put it on and uh, yeah, twist it uh, when it's uh, already on the car. So that's uh, yeah, a funny thing, that's different. I don't know if it's because of uh, the new and the older version, I don't know. But uh, I like this version a lot more. So use your E36 brake lines for the E46 330i brake up. Okay, bold on parts number two, the pulse generator. So the ABS sensor, uh, the ABS sensor for the E36 is exactly the same from the 316i until the BMW E36 M3. Also the part number for the E46 is uh, exactly the same as the E36 except uh, the 330i one. Uh, one tip, um, don't buy original BMW parts, 
just look on real OEM or other sites and uh, look what my manufacturer uh, made that specific part. In this case, it's uh, Bosch and um, buy this one. It's a lot cheaper, so why would you buy the OEM part? If you disagree on that, put it down below in uh, the comments and tell me why. So I don't say buy uh, cheap uh, knockoffs. I just say uh, look at what manufacturer made this part and just buy it, that part from that uh, manufacturer without the BMW logo on it. And it's a lot cheaper, so why would you do that? Put your comments down below. Okay, bolt on parts number three, the brake pad wear sensor. Uh, this is the one for uh, a 328i. Um, I already had, have it, uh, had it laying around. So I fit this on the E36 brake and it, uh, yeah, it fits. What I'm going to check now is if the sensor is the same from a 316i until the M3. So that's part number nine. No, it's only for the uh, E36. Um, so uh, the sensor is different for the E46. Um, this one fits the, uh, the brake pad there. I already checked it. Um, like I said um, before, I have the luxury that I also have E46 with this uh, same brakes on it. So um, I'm going to check the length. Um, but once again, uh, the guys who did a really uh, neat uh, E36 brake upgrade with, this, with, the, with these brakes, um, they used the uh, E36 um, brake wear indicators. So the brake wear indicators uh, use the um, original uh, E36 ones. And they are exactly the same from the 316i until the 328i. So the M3 is different, but all the other ones are the same. So uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, then bolt on parts number four. Um, the bolts for caliper bracket uh, to kingpin. So uh, these ones, uh, the front and the, the rear is different. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, part numbers uh, on the screen now. Um, the reason why I do that is because uh, one old bolt broke off and it's still in my kingpin on the E36. And on my E46, uh, one bolt got loose. They're only a few euros uh, a piece, so just buy um, these bolts do it for me uh, because it's really a pain in the ass when they uh, they break off or when your brake get loose. So um, yeah, uh, the bolts you can use the original ones. They uh, they're exactly the same on the E36 and the E46. But uh, just do me a favor, buy them. <laughs> Okay, bolt on parts number five, the axle, so the output shaft, uh, the 316i, the 318i, the 318i S and the 320i, um, they all have a small diff, uh, so the part of the axle that's on the diff is smaller, so that would fit my original um, yeah, axles. Um, the thickness is, yeah, of course, at the six cylinder, so, yeah, the 320i is already six cylinder, but 320i up is of course thicker. Um, the other uh, thing is um, the end of the axle. Um, I checked uh, the knot, uh, they call it the color knot, and it's exactly the same from a 316i and a, a 328i or an M3. So that will fit my, uh, my wheel hub, that's not the problem. The only thing is uh, the, the, the part of the axle where it hits uh, my brake disc, so the carrying arm side. Um, is it long enough and that thing that's uh, against it um, is the thickness the, the right size so uh, please your tips and your comments 
down below um, a 318i axle on a 320i carrying arm is it possible yes or no once again put uh, the number it's um, yeah bottom part number five so put down below a five and uh, please your tips and uh, your advice and your experience Okay, then bolt on parts and uh, number six, uh, the wheel hubs um, for the E36, um, they're at the front exactly the same from a 316i until a M3. Also, the E46 has the same part number, also from a 316i until all the way up to a 330i. So, not an M3, but a 330i. So, the E36 has the same part number as the E46 from a 316i until uh, the 330i. So you can use your uh, original uh, wheel hub um, at the front. Okay, now I'm going to check the rear axle. Rear axle. Okay. At the rear it's a little bit different with the wheel bearing but i have it here you have to choose the one of course with a brake disc it's also e36 316i until the 328i so the entry is different and for the e46 also same part number at the rear from a 316i until the 328i so that's not the 330i, um, but I know that you can use the wheel hub from a 328i E36. So uh, the wheel hub, use your E36 one, it will fit on at the front and at the rear. Okay, then the brake master cylinder. <coughs> um, the cylinder is the same from a 316i until the 325i from an E36. Um, so that means that the 328i and the M3 has a different ones, probably uh, bigger. Um, if I look at the size of the brakes, the 328i is smaller and even the M3 is a bit smaller. So um, I would like to buy the brake uh, master cylinder from an M3. I don't know which one to use and if it will fit. Um, at my E46 I only swap the front and I have my 320i um, brake master cylinder on it and I have to push in my pedal uh, pretty deep to get a bite and I don't want it at the E36. So down below uh, uh, write down the number 7 and please give me your advice and your experience about the brake master cylinder swap, which one to use and will it fit. Bold on parts number 8, uh, ABS, the hydro unit for ABS and ASC. Um, I don't know if my E36 has ASC, I know my E46 has. Uh, I have an E36 from 93 with an M40 engine in it. So maybe you know if I have ASC. Uh, what I do know is that a 316i until a 325i has the same hydro unit. Uh, what means that a 328i and an M3 has a different hydro unit for the ABS and the ASC. So I probably have to exchange it. And is there a difference between the normal ABS one and maybe a second version with also ASC in it. And then the expansion tank. I believe the 316 until the 325i has the same size, so the 328i or at least the M3 has a bigger expansion tank, so I probably have to exchange that one as well. And then uh, uh, last but not least, uh, the ABS computer, um, do I have to exchange it? Um, probably uh, have to exchange it if I'm going to put a master cylinder from a 328i or an M3 in it, and will that work on my 93? 
M40 ACU. So please fill in a number eight at the comment section down below and uh, give me your experience and tips. Bold on parts number nine, the brake protection plates. Uh, first of all, the front. Uh, the E36 has the same brake protection plates from the 316i all the way up to the M3. So uh, M3 has the same brake protection plate as the 316i. Um, a E46 brake protection plate uh, doesn't fit at the front on your E36 because a E46 has a different kingpin and stuff. So I'm going to use uh, the one size fits all E36 a brake protection plate. While well, everything is off, you can better uh, refresh that one uh, right away. Um, at the rear, it's a different story. Um, the brake protection plate from an E46 is uh, completely different than on an E36 because of uh, the holes for the bolts, um, the handbrake shoes, and the E36 has a big iron thing in it, so it doesn't fit. So you would have to use uh, the brake protection plate um, from uh, E36 uh, at the rear. Um, the size is the same, I see from a 316i all the way up to a 328i. And I don't think uh, the brake protection plate from an M3 will fit the 328i uh, trailing uh, arms. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place uh, the normal 316i until the 328i um, brake protection plate uh, at the rear. Um, if you want to place the 330i bigger brakes uh, at the, the rear, uh, you also have to do modifications to the handbrake shoes. So that's a thing that I almost um, yeah, make me want to only use uh, a swap at the front and use the 328i disc brakes and brakes uh, on the rear. Um, the 328i is the only non-M3 E36 with a double disc. Um, this is perforated and this is ventilated, so two discs. So uh, what you can do is um, put a 330i brake at the front and use the 328i original E36 uh, brakes at the rear. Um, I'm not going to do that <coughs> because um, I have a show car and uh, I want to fill up the space uh, into the wheels. So um, I'm going to place 330i uh, rear brakes uh, uh, there as well. Um, what you can do is you can cut out your brake protection plate and that uh, yeah, will make the disc fit. Only uh, a small piece of your uh, disc will be naked. And it also doesn't look so nice because it doesn't cover it up at uh, the top. So what you can do is um, use your original uh, E36 a brake protection plate, uh, cut it off and put a piece of the E46 330i brake protection plate on top. Uh, last, but uh, certainly not least, ball on part number 10, uh, the handbrake shoes. Uh, the handbrake shoes from uh, E36 are exactly the same from a 316i all the way up to the 328i. What means that the M3 is the only one with a different product number. Um, they are bigger and they are wider. And it also confirms the stories that I wrote about on forums. That the guys try to fit these M3 uh, handbrake shoes to fill up the gap between the way bigger 330i disc brakes. Um, the result was they didn't get enough bite and it didn't work. Um, I see two types of swaps on the E46, on the YouTube uh, films. Um, some guys they just weld it on, on the E36, on top of it, and yeah, it doesn't look so nice. Other ones do a nice laser cut and they only weld on uh, the top side. Uh, on the E46, the handbrake shoes are exactly the same from a 316i until a 328i. The M3 is uh, is bigger of course but also the 330i has bigger ones so if you want to weld them use uh, the regular e36 handbrake shoe and weld on the handbrake shoes of a 330i uh, from an e46 um, 
if you have experience with that welding it on top of it or you cut it out please uh, tell me your experience and why you did that also i know that there are companies who sell adapters um, i wrote about that they only laser cut it for you and that's the adapter um, i also wrote one time about adapters inside your disc brake so they put iron rings in it uh, and they can use the original ones um, if you have experience with that if you have a link or a company or a friend who has a laser cut program or maybe manufactures them please number 10 down below and uh, give me your tips uh, for now all please a thumb up and uh, subscribe on this channel for more E36 upgrades and also for the E46. Okay, talk to you later guys.